To be honest, I don't know if there is any fiddle music without Trish and Jeff and Nanaimo. Um, they, they just, they do so much for the community and they, they have groups and they teach private lessons. When I first came to Nanaimo, uh, I reached out to a violin teacher in town named Veronica Wagner who was very well known and very well respected and we ended up teaching together at the Nanaimo Conservatory of Music and we spent a lot of time talking about how we can make ensembles happen in the community because at that time there wasn't really a youth orchestra and there weren't any opportunities for kids to play in groups together. So together Ronnie and I formed a, a group program at the conservatory and out of that came the first fiddle groups and we started with three members, that was the minimum. You had to have three people for the conservatory to run a group class, and they stuck with it for long enough that the group would continue to run, and then we got more people, and now we have about 100 people in our groups. I think Trish and I are similar in our approach to teaching. We try to get inside people's heads a little bit. We try to, to figure out what makes people tick and um, what's the best way for them to learn. And it's really rewarding to see somebody uh, who has started from nothing and are really good players now. I was teaching in uh, sort of an outreach program in the Northwest Territories with a team of teachers that were flown from Southern Canada up to the ter territory. It was a really neat team of teachers and Jeff was one of the teachers that was brought up. And yeah, I guess we got along okay. It's turned out to be popular and people enjoy it and, and there, there's, there's been this huge community that's sort of grown out of, out of our fiddle groups and it's the people that made it happen really, it's, you know, we're just kind of facilitating the whole thing. We just did the Fiddle Summit in, uh, in February and, you know, they brought groups in from around the island and the mainland and all around BC and it's just it's showing that you know not Nanaimo has this kind of hidden and emerging um, fiddle fiddle community that's that's all because of them. Hundreds of kids, kids, <laughs> kids, hundreds of virtuosos that were just playing their hearts out and, and and you could just see how much it meant to them. And then our group got up, the Fidelium group got up. And man, they went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the whole country. I was so proud, I started crying in the middle of the show. Just, I thought, yeah, that's our Fidelium group. And that's Trish and Jeff and their dedication and the hours and hours that they spend putting it together. I just want people to know that in music, it's never too late to learn. It doesn't matter the age. You're never too old or too young to start learning something new. My name is Gordon Stovey, and I can't tell you how happy I am that uh, Trish and Jeff are receiving this Culture Award. Um, I've known them for a long, long time, and I've known them to be extremely dedicated to their craft, dedicated to teaching, and dedicated to furthering the education of a lot of young people and older people as well. And in the time when cultural, uh, cultural pioneers or cultural workers are kind of taken for granted, I think it's so wonderful that a community would, would uh, have a, a prize like this and a recognition like this for two people who have contributed not just in their own community but, but in many other communities, um, if fiddle camps uh, in other towns. Uh, they bring a great wealth of knowledge and a wonderful love of teaching and I can't be happier that they've won this and I'm so proud that uh, they're friends of mine and uh, I wish them both well. We were totally not expecting it. Um, feeling very uh, honored obviously to be in the, in the company of some of the most important cultural leaders that have shaped our city. You know, that's, that's really touching and moving but uh, still a little bit 
surprising and odd. <laughs> I think it's super important that they're getting this award because they're not going to toot their own horns. They're not that kind of people. So like receiving this is a huge thing because they just they need to be recognized for, for everything that they're doing and it's, it's pretty great. My opinion is we should just be trying to figure out where to build the statue of Trish and Jeff and where we should put it so everybody can just look and marvel at those two people.